Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Isra Automation. and today we are going to talk about Windows Terminal of Windows which is kind of very very interesting because I have been using this Windows Terminal and it is kind of crazy insane because you can customize almost everything and in this video we are going to see how you can customize Windows Terminal on your own way. So let's get started. All right, so now I'm in my Edge Chrome browser and you can see that this is the documentation page of Windows Terminal in the Microsoft's document website. And you can see that there are a whole lot of information available on this particular page which tells you almost everything that you can actually perform to customize the settings of your Windows Terminal. So you can see that there are something called as global settings in Windows Terminal which is going to be applicable for almost all the tabs that you have in Windows Terminal and there are some profile settings that you can set for a specific profile and then you can use for that particular profile. And there are something called as color schemes, we'll discuss about that. And there are also key bindings which you can specify which hotkeys that you need to basically use for a particular operation. So you can also customize the key combination so that you can create your own shortcuts and then you can work from there. So these are all the things that you can do within this particular Windows Terminal. But before that we also need to install the Windows Terminal. So installation of Windows terminals can be done in many different ways. One, you can even clone the repo because the Microsoft Windows terminal is completely open source. You can clone the repo and you can build the terminal by yourself. Or you can also go to the releases of the Windows terminal and you can download from here. As you can see, this is the latest version, which is released on May 20th. Uh, and then you can also uh, get the Windows terminal from the chocolatey like that or you can use the Windows Package Manager which is nothing but Winget introduced this build in 2020 so you can do that as well. So you can do almost everything that you could prefer to do with and the most easiest way that you can go with is using the Windows Stores. So Windows Stores is a GUI based way of getting the Windows Terminal right from here and you can see that I can directly go and install from here it's just gonna download Windows Terminal pretty much like how it has been specified on the Chocolatey or on the Winget. It's pretty much exactly the same thing it's going to do in here. So it's going to basically download the Windows Terminal. It's going to install the terminal for me and I'm all good. You can see that it's ready to launch right now. That's it. So this is the most easiest way that I can probably prefer to go with instead of just going with the Chocolatey if I don't really have one in my machine already. So that's it. So you can see that this is a bare minimal Windows terminal currently available over here. So basically you can see that there is no acrylic effect basically you can see that it's not even transparent and it's kind of very very black pretty much like the old days of command prompts. It's the PowerShell core basically you can see here like from PowerShell 7 it's all just like PowerShell core. So it is a PowerShell core and it is kind of black right now. So if you see other options like the Ubuntu distro that I have installed for my WSL2 is also kind of like a black screen at this particular point of time. So all these command prompts or whatever that you can see in here are just like a black screen. Pretty much like everything is not even customizable. And this is what all these days we have been living with if you don't really have a third party command prompt installed within our machine. But yeah, this is what we get the option all these days. But now with the customization of Windows Terminal you can directly go to the settings over here which is basically going to open a Visual Studio 2019 for me or it's going to open the VS Code if you have or any other text editor you have set or maybe the program will ask you which text editor they need to use for customizing the Windows Pro Terminal profile schemas. So you can see this is the Windows profile terminal schemas that is currently available like a bare minimal. It's very very bare minimal and once you start customizing Windows Terminal you can see that this whole page is going to turn into a big list. And I really have a very big list but just for the demonstration purpose I have deleted almost everything and I'm just going to show you from the scratch. So you can see this is the profile and this is the default section which is something you need to put the settings here that you want to apply to all the profiles or you can go through each and every profile list something like this for each and every terminals like command prompt or PowerShell or PowerShell core Ubuntu and Azure Cloud Shell that we just saw over here. You can customize them individually and then you can see how it actually going to work. 
and there is something called as color schemes which is kind of very very interesting because this is where you are going to get the terminal color effect basically so you can see this color schemes where you can see there are different color schemes available like campbell we can just copy paste this and i will show you other way that you can actually customize it as well but let's go one by one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this guy this side and i'm going to put this guy over here so that you can see how the customization is going to basically affect our windows terminal itself all right so now the first thing if i go to the uh page over here for the color scheme uh, maybe let's go to the profile settings you can see that this is how we are we are starting like default and list it's currently kind of empty and now if i want to set any one of the operation uh, let's say if i want to let's skip all these things because these are all pretty much uh, normal and if you see here there is something called as cursor shape so this set the cursor shape for the profile like bar or vintage and underscore so if you want to set a bar uh, you can also do that as well so there is something called as a property name called cursor shape uh, over here you can do that as well so at this point of time you can see that our cursor shape is kind of in a bar but if you want to put that like a, a cursor effect you can do that as well so i'm just gonna copy the cursor shape and i'm gonna go over here to the partial core uh, i'm just gonna put this and let's say if i want to put like underscore maybe yeah once i save this you can see from the bar it is going to turn into an underscore basically you can see now it has turned let me just close all the uh, tabs can you see this is like an underscore already instead of the bar there this is one thing which is literally uh, we don't basically uh, notice but let's see one thing which i can really notice something like if i want to add a background image somewhere over here and you can see that particular background image and you will see how that image is basically going to show up and because this is a powershell what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over here uh, you can also see the the background image things over here so let's see what we have see this is the background image uh, stretch mode and there is the alignment you can do as well and you can do all sort of jazz in this particular point of time so i'm just going to show one by one so this is for the background image so once i do that and once i save can you see that i actually get a background image over here but i've chosen the wrong image this time basically i need to uh, take one for uh, let's say for the powershell and you can see that i get the powershell uh, symbol over here but it's kind of in a stretch mode right now i actually need to uh, stretch it to none and also i need to put this maybe on the bottom right corner and I need to set its opacity as well to like 0.25, something like that. So I can do all sorts of things over here. So let's say if I do this, can you see that I have put my PowerShell over here? I just stretched, uh, I've turned off the stretch mode of the background and aligned the background image, something like this. And also I can do something called as background image opacity. So something like this. And you can see that it is kind of a bit uh, faded because the opacity has been reduced is pretty cool so you can do all sort of things over here and if you think the font size is kind of very very uh, small and if you want to increase the font size to maybe 15 and if you want to set any other font from the font family you can set that as well so if i do that can you see that it is just affecting pretty much very very quickly and the next thing is the acrylic option which is i really really prefer because that's when you get the glass effect uh, on the terminal so there's something called as use acrylic uh, once you set this to true uh, you can see that over here but you can also control this acrylic effect once you set the acrylic opacity option so if i set the acrylic opacity option like 0.75 and let me open the terminal can you see that the acrylic effect is now a bit better because if you just completely remove this acrylic option and now if you just like this you can see that it is completely acrylic and you don't even know what's really happening if you just bring this guy over here it's kind of very very acrylic effect so it's better to have i personally prefer to have an opacity option to be 0.75 which is even more better and meaningful so this is another thing that you can do at this point of time with the acrylic effect and then you can also set many different color schemes at the, which i was talking about so if you go all the way over here on the color schemes you have a color scheme something like this 
or this point of time. So let me just copy this guy as of now. And if you come all the way down here, you can see that schemes are currently empty. So I'm just going to put a color scheme, just copy pasting this particular JSON file. In order to use this color scheme, you can see that there is something called as a name, like Campbell. So I can go here and I can just put something called as color schemes. And I can put the Campbell over here. And you can see that the Campbell uh, color scheme would have added already. Uh, you can see that there is this yellow color coming basically that's the only color scheme at this point of time we can actually see but it is not very very visible at this point of time but yes this is the uh, actual color scheme uh, that you can see uh, at this point of time but if you want to do in many other color scheme options to be set you can go all the way over here and then you can just search for windows terminal themes and this website like autumn carp.github.io is very very interesting so you can see that they just load you up uh, many different themes that you can basically use and you can just use the same theme for your execution you can also see there is something called a cypress result so once the cypress test executes you can see how the result is going to be shown over here and there is this just exceptions that you can see like how this is going to be shown uh, and once it is executing uh, the just is executing you can see how it is going to be shown things of that nature so yes you can actually do many different things over here and these are the different themes that you can select there are if you go to the colors here you can see that you can also see what sort of colors that you can actually get uh, from this uh, so let's say if I want to maybe just use some colors uh, maybe this one I think like dark plus so we can try to use this like uh, maybe not dark plus let's say one will go with color one yeah this one desert so I'm just gonna get this theme so once I do that you can see it, it just got copied on my clipboard and I can go all the way over here and since this is an array the schemes I'm just gonna paste this uh, I'm just gonna copy the desert uh, name and I'm gonna paste the name over here on the PowerShell oops uh, color scheme name. just gonna save this can we see and you can see that the color has already been added over here just pretty cool you can see the background has been changed oops if I try to execute some test probably you can see that but yes so this is the theme color that you can actually see how it is been changing and all those kind of stuff and I can also do the same thing for other terminals as well like uh, if I want to set anything for this Ubuntu operating system then probably I can do other sort of settings so for Ubuntu operating system I have other color scheme which I really prefer to use the name itself is Ubuntu you can actually go to this particular uh, theme and then you can search for Ubuntu uh, like that this one so this is the one which I'm actually going to use for the Ubuntu uh, terminal that I have got and I'm just going to show you how it's going to look like for the Ubuntu terminal itself. So I'm just going to add everything that I have already used, uh, I've already created. So I'm just going to copy paste this guy and if I go to the Ubuntu terminal this time, can you see that I now have a, a Ubuntu terminal uh, based on that particular changes and you can see that I have also added this image uh, it's also like uh, using the acrylic effect if I'm not wrong yeah so this is the way that you can actually keep on customizing your Windows terminal and it is kind of very very insane you can keep doing a lot of different changes you can set the key bindings and stuff and this is very very cool to see how Microsoft is trying to continue creating a different way of customizing your terminals and how you can use it for your daily work that's it guys this is something which I really like to show you for the Windows terminal and how you can keep customizing your terminal without any problem so once again thank you for watching this video and you have a great day